Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Today I have a review for you of um, Wanted Girl from the House of Lazaro. This is a continuing uh, perfume re review from my series that I began um, at the beginning of Vlogmas. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Somewhere between heritage and modernity, Azaro has envisioned a brilliant eau de parfum as an ode to this untamable beauty, tinged with panache and overflowing with charm. The ultimate dose of dazzling femininity, drenched with sun and advocating la bella, la bella vida, a wanted girl. A radiant, explosive, and gourmand fragrance housed in a delicate flower-shaped bottle. At dawn, the fragrance opens with a burst of freshness, thanks to the pomegranate accord. At zenith, the dangerous datura flower, which is a poisonous flower, envelops its petals in irresistibly soft and creamy dolce de leche to unveil sensuous and addictive facets at the heart of the fragrance. At dusk, the strength of the vetiver and the warmth of the tonka bean together set the florist's signature on fire. A floral oriental gourmand fragrance. So who is this woman for? Or who is this, which woman is this perfume for? Well, it's a woman that has style and a radiant personality. She has power, but doesn't use it. Inspiring and is inspired. She's attractive, but casual with it. She's just got that spark. She's a free spirit, yet never alone, always surrounded by her squad. She's a party goer and a jet setter, full of joy and fun, but she also keeps things in perspective and is, has an amused look at life. So that's this fragrance here, the longevity. I will update you, it's pretty good so far. Um, Siage is great, the best out of the three so far that I've tried. Very similar to Girl of Now, if that's the fragrance you like. Sorry for the short review, I've gotta go. I hear my baby in the background. I don't know if you do as well, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.